Hello, everybody. I'm Melissa, and welcome back to Book Bar, and welcome to another 24-hour reading vlog. Um, it is Jumpstart January, which is hosted by Mel from Melanor Reads. Uh, it's basically just a way to get going on your reading goals and all of that fun stuff. So, in this 24-hour readathon, I am going to be attempting to finish, which I should be able to, um, The Obsession by Nora Roberts. I have broken it down into 24 hours. How many pages I need to read for 24 hours? It's about 20 pages an hour, which is really not that bad. But when you factor in the fact that I'm probably going to have to sleep and I do still have to read my, uh, I'm like breaking up other books. <laughs> so I have to read my pages of House of Earth and Blood today. Um, I'm trying to like really slowly read this because, um, yeah, I've read it. This is my third time reading it. So, and then I also have to read some of The Wicked King. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read like... I'm going to do like two, I'm going to be sprinting on my channel. So I'm going to do like a sprint or two sprints of reading the obsession. And then I'm going to take a break and read probably the Wicked King because this one I have a live show on tomorrow. And then I'm going to go back into the obsession for a couple, maybe probably only one sprint. And then I will read this and then I'll go back into the obsession again after that. And then I'll start tomorrow morning off with... The Wicked King, just so I can finish that. But those are my plans. Um, if I do finish those, then I will probably, oh, I also have to finish um, An Echo of Things to Come, which if I do that, I don't know that I'll actually talk about it because I'm 80% into it. So it's really just the last 20% um, that I need to finish. But I will talk, even though obviously I'm in, I'm already into House of Earth and Blood and into Wait, The Wicked King. I don't know that I'll talk about those either. I'm just, but I will update on The Obsession by Nora Roberts. But yeah, I'm going to be doing some sprints on my channel. I don't know if I'll have anyone join me. Not that you guys will care because this will be happening after the fact. But yeah, I got to go because I'm going to get comfortable. Because part of being part of a 24 hour is being comfortable. So I'm going to go and do that. And I will update you all when I get to probably like... 20-ish percent of this. 25 percent. I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to you on the next one. finished part one of The Obsession by Nora Roberts and I'm bored. Um, I'm legitimately thinking about DNFing it and just watching the live show and seeing what people say because I'm not having a good time. I might give it through part two and see how I'm feeling after that. This part two is only another like 75 pages, 100 pages and that will kind of tell me like if I'm still just utterly bored. Um then yeah, it's like a hundred, it's a little less than a hundred pages. So I'm going to give it to part two. And if I still hate it, then I'm just going to DNF it and call it a day. And that's that. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is, but it's not that good. So basically this girl, Naomi, it starts off when she's like 12, 11. She's 11. She's going to be turning 12. And she follows her father into the woods and like behind her house thinking he's going to like a creek. And then he goes into this sh shed place and she thinks he's building her a bike. And so when he leaves, she like goes in to like catch a glimpse of the bike. And then she hears something and she thinks it's a puppy because her birthday is like in a couple days. And it ends up being a girl. 
a young college aged girl uh, who her father did horrible horrible things to he had her tied up and he was going to murder her after he did all sorts of really terrible things that you can imagine what someone does when they tie someone up in a basement um, and so she like gets the girl out and they go to the police and her father ends up going to jail obviously because it turns out he's done this to like 20 people 20 young girls uh, or young women um and so yeah and then now it's like she's in she moves away with her uncle and her mom and her brother and like changes her name and but of course her father is like still um controlling her mother and doing all this stuff and there's a movie made about their family and all this stuff and she's she ends up selling her story to someone and I don't know it's I don't yeah I don't know I'm I'm like intrigued but I'm not enough like I'm not enjoying it enough to where if like part two doesn't pick up a lot then I'm just gonna DNF it and I'll go to the live show and see what everyone says and find out what happened and look up spoilers for it because yeah so we'll see the right it's just very I mean Nora Roberts writes very um everything's very descriptive like she's at one point where she was talking about juice and it was literally like a whole paragraph just about like juice or something and I was like and like colors and I don't know it's a lot of descriptions that I feel like are unnecessary and yeah so we'll see how this can how this goes and I will update you all when I get to part the end of part two and on whether or not I'm gonna keep going Y'all, I didn't even make it to the end of the second section. I'm so bored. I'm DNFing it. And yeah, I like just decided mid chapter. I'm like, I can't, I can't keep doing this. Um, so I'm DNFing it at page 126. So yeah. Um, now I need to decide what else I'm going to read. Um, I definitely am going to finish House of Earth, or not finish. I'm going to read my chapter of House of Earth and Blood. Um, I did finish The Wicked King, which is good. Um, and I'm still going to count these 100. I might finish the chapter just because, you know, I am a sort of completionist. Um, so I'll probably finish that chapter that I am on just because I have to. Um, but I am DNFing it and I'm not even mad about it. I will watch the live show and see what people say, um, if it's worth it to continue. But for now, I'm calling it a DNF, and I will probably read Never Seduce a Scott by My Banks as my, because, and again, it's just a reread, but I'm loving, I love that book so much, and I want to read something that brings joy, or I might start before I let go by Kennedy Ryan. I don't know. You guys will be the first to know. Just kidding. I'll be the first to know, but uh, I will tell you when I decide, but yeah, I'm going to read more of house of earth and blood and then I will decide what I'm gonna go with after that but that is all I have for now um sadly I am embracing the DNF this year so first DNF happening but that is all I have for now I'll talk to you on the next one
good evening, good night, whatever. Uh, it's 1 a.m. and I'm going to go to bed. I finished an echo of Things to Come by James Islington and I haven't ran it through, but I'm thinking probably like three and a half stars. It was okay. Um, I think I might have liked it a little bit better than The Shadow of What Was Lost, but I feel like I'm more confused in this one than I was in the first one. But I do like that there are little romance-y romance parts, plot, little small, small romance plots going on. I'm obviously very, very tired. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm doing my last sprint right now and then I am going to just turn my lights off and read Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks because yeah, that is on my list. Um, but I did finish The Wicked King, five stars. Again, I still love it. I read my pages for today for House of Earth and Blood. So, I mean, overall today, including at work, I've read about 740 pages. Um, probably overall this evening, probably about 400 pages. Um, because I did, obviously, I read 120 pages of a book, or 130 pages of a book that I ended up DNFing. But, yeah, um, that is all I have for now. I will be up bright and early, and I will talk to you all when I'm awake. And let you know where I'm at, what I'm deciding to do. I'll probably pick up something else tomorrow. I'm thinking I might do Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. Um, because I have the physical book and I have the audiobook for it, so I can read and listen uh so like I can re listen while I'm like doing stuff and when I want to read I can like physically read it so I might do that so but yeah I'm um, tonight just gonna read never just to Scott but yeah I'll talk to you all in the next one hello good morning um I am 50 ish was a less than 50 percent of the way through the tattooist of Auschwitz um about 110 pages in so a little less than 50 percent because the book's only 254 pages so um i am not enjoying i mean i don't want to say that i'm not enjoying it because this is a true like it's a fictionalized version of a true story so i don't know it's the author her writing or their writing is just not it's very clinical I feel like it's just like and the way it's written it's very stilted like everything is broken up into like little sections and it's just like it doesn't flow that greatly that great and I feel like I should be more emotionally invested in this story considering it is a true story or a, fic a fictionalized version of a true story I should be more invested I should want like I should have feelings for this romance um and the romance is sweet and I'm really enjoying it but um well the romance it's a love story not a romance I'm assuming things aren't gonna end up happily we'll see though I don't know um but yeah I just the writing is kind of like taking me out of the story in a way so that's not great but I mean it's not anything egregious to where it's like the obsession where I was just so bored like I'm still enjoying it I hate to say enjoying it I'm still invested in the story whereas with the obsession I just was not invested so I'm still invested in the story I'm not gonna like DNF it or anything but I don't see it getting more than like actually I probably don't even rate it because I just feel like it's hard like I when I rate nonfiction, I give, I either give it five stars or I don't rate it at all. Because how do you tell someone what their life story is? And I know that obviously this is fictionalized, but it is about a true story. It is about a person, like a true real life person, um, who was a tattooer, a tattooist in Auschwitz. And so how <clears throat> can I say that? that story should have a different rating so I don't think I'm going to read it just based off of the fact that I'm not loving the writing style so yeah um I'm actually going to switch to back to Never Such to Scott um because you know I gotta break it up a little bit 
all of the heavy topics in this. So I'm going to go do that. And then, yeah, um, I'm sprinting right now. And I think the next sprint, I'm going to go walk to Starbucks. And I'll go back to listening to the Tattooist of Auschwitz. Because I'm listening and reading along. But I can listen, obviously, also. So, yeah, I'm going to go. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. reading the tattooist of Auschwitz and I'm not gonna read it um because again it's a fictionalized version of a true story and it's just too much to write but um I did I ended up being a lot more gripped than I thought it was going to be um the writing at the beginning was very stilted and it felt like it was just like um it wasn't a story it felt like it was just facts like laid out in like bullet points um but as the story went on it really did start to feel like a story and so yeah um I did enjoy it or I didn't enjoy it because how can you enjoy a story like that uh luckily it is somewhat <laughs> of a happy ending um the wrong it does have a like I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it was a lot more hopeful than other stories I have read from that time period. And so, yeah, um, like I said, I'm not going to read it, but that's another book finished. Now I'm just going to spend the rest of the day reading Never Sue Scott. And yeah, I'll talk to you on the next one. Hello. Good evening. One hour left of my 24 hour readathon and I'm at like 30 minutes left of a reading for 12 hours um, so of that 24. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue into tomorrow and see if I can read for 24 hours this weekend. Uh, see how far I can get with that uh, because I kind of need to take a break from reading for a little while because I'm getting really hungry and I have a live show at seven for Folk of the Air Along. Um, but I did start reading In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. Um, and I'm about 25% of the way in and it's cute so far. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be Marriage of Convenience, Friends to Lovers, Small Town, like just a lot of buzzwords, kind of a second chance because I think I don't know what happened to them in high school, but something clearly did. Um, I don't know if they were together or what, but yeah, I'm excited to like unpack it all and figure it all out. It's good so far. Um, single parent-ish. He is the legal guardian of his niece. So, you know, single parent. And yeah, it's good so far. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. And I'm watching the Seahawks Niners game. Go Hawks. Because I hate the Niners. I'm rooting for the Eagles, though, overall, in the playoffs. But they're off this week because they got to buy. So I'm rooting for the Eagles and the Bills. Like, that would be a perfect Super Bowl matchup for me. Eagles-Bills. But I want the Seahawks to beat the Niners because that would just be amazing. Because I hate the 49ers so much. But, yeah, I'm going to go. Because... I need to order some dinner and I'll talk to you on the next one. Hello, good evening. Um, the 24 hours part of the 24 hour readathon is done, um, but I am going to continue this vlog into tomorrow, um, make it kind of a 48 hour thing, but I'm not gonna like force myself to stay awake, but um, the 24 hours is done. And I did all right, I read a total of I read a total of 807 pages from Friday night into Saturday night um so overall 807 pages I read 393 Friday night I started and DNF'd the obsession 
by Nora Roberts. I finished The Wicked King and I finished An Echo of Things to Come. Plus I read a couple pages of um, House of Earth and Blood. And then on Saturday I started and finished The Tattooist of Auschwitz. Um, I read some of Never Seduce Scott and I started In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. So I'm going to continue that um, going into Saturday starting Saturday going into Sunday I have started the Queen of Nothing and I have already read um my pages for the day of Crescent City House of Red and Blood but yeah um I got a margarita from a restaurant I like drive up margaritas and you know I just was feeling one so I ordered it but, yeah, that is all. I'm going to get cozy, get ready for bed, get comfy, to spend the rest of the night just reading into tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I definitely, I, have, I read for 12 hours, at least in the 24 hours. Um, and I'm going to try to read for 24 hours. We'll see how much reading I actually get done tomorrow. I have other things I need to do. I need to clean. I need to um, film some videos. Sit down videos. And yeah. And then I need to up edit and upload most of this vlog. Um, so that way I only have like maybe a close out clip to put in. Um, and I could just do that. Yeah, so I have to do that tomorrow and then she'll fall in. So I don't know how much I'll actually get done, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you on the next one. close out this vlog um I ended up not reading nearly as much as I wanted to on Sunday um I just was not in a reading mode um I think I really burnt myself out and I was just really tired like every time I'd like sit down to read I'd end up falling asleep like within a couple pages <clears throat> no matter what so I'm just you know calling it here I read a total for this readathon I read a total of 1019 pages which I feel like is pretty good um, and yeah, I mean, in the 24 hours, I read 800 and something pages. I don't even remember it, what it was anymore. I talked about it. But yeah, um, I finished two books that I had started earlier in the week. So that's great. Um, then knocked both of those off. And then I, uh, started and DNF'd a book during this. That was for a book club book, which was for my TBR Uno. So, you know, and then I started another book club book. So I have that. So I'm doing good on those. Um, and then, yeah, so I started in a jam. I got to like 40-ish percent. It's cute so far. Um, fun, marriage of convenience, single parent, uh, small town. Just, yes, knocking out all the buzzwords. <laughs> but, and then I started The Queen of Nothing also last night. And I got about 30-ish percent in would say about 30% and I've just been continuing to chug away at House of Earth and Blood and then I started and finished The Tattooist of Auschwitz which I've already talked about but yeah so I mean I would say it was fairly successful all things considered but yeah um if you made it to the end of this video leave me a clock emoji because 24 hours you know um so yeah I think I really did get my jump start January goals going uh I my goals were to DNF more and I DNF'd a book not that I went into this <laughs> read if I'm thinking of a DNF a book but I'm giving myself the ability to DNF and so I DNF'd a book I read books off of my TBR email which I had two of them I read um 
mean, the obsession was on TV right now. So was the tattoos of Auschwitz. So I'm killing it there. I only have one more book to finish for TV right now, and that's before I let go by Kennedy Ryan. Plus, I have a skip. So if I don't get to it, I'm not holding myself to it. So yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Like I said, if you made it to the end, leave me a clock. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. It really helps me out. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.